Hi everyone, and I'm back with Title Terrina Warm Up on the Chess Orc. Let's go! Alright, you can you hear me? With Title Great. Step hello, good luck all. Hello, all. Good luck all. In time! Yes! <laughs> I'm in time. I'm too fast. I'm playing Sim Time Garan. Good luck. Let's see. It is Blitz Tournament 3 plus 0 and duration 55 minutes. Let's go! Here? Well, I think I can take. I'm a little bit greedy, so I will take that pawn with the threats of taking another pawn. Let's play that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought about queen e5, but then he'll just take my knight. And I don't think I really want to give him my knight. Then let's play queen c5. This. Try knight d5, that's pretty unusual play. Or maybe knight 6, maybe knight 6 is better to attack his knight. And then if he will take on c6 and queen e3. If queen d2, knight d4. If that, I guess I can go knight d4, but it feels a little bit extreme. Let's calculate a bit. This, it takes f, king f8. At the same time, it looks good. At the same time, I don't like something, but I'm greedy, so let's go for it. Then king f8. Why well, did not want to play like d takes e here? Because he had queen f2. Mm, and I'm not sure. Here knight e2 is looking interesting. Let's go for it. And uh, maybe I just <laughs> blunder because he has king f2. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. It's a little blunder. Oh well, I think knight d4 is possible. Yeah, maybe knight d2 was a little bit rushed move. Maybe I guess, okay, this is... Oi, oi! <laughs> Skin is going for a run. Let's see. Let's see. Check. Oh, I can't play queen e6 because my knight hangs. Aye, aye, aye. true. Oh, g5. Uh -huh. Oi, oi. Spicy game <laughs> here. I think he has skinny. S no, wait. Queen e7, king e7, rook e1. I messed that up. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> this is the best game from us both. We think both make a lot of blunders, but I think he maybe made less blunders than me. So, yeah. I will lose it. Oh well, good game. I needed to play the move I wanted to g5 there. I would have more chances. Ay, ay, ay. Another game seen. Sim Tan Garan. Good game. Let's see. Well, I better. No. King. And I can have two. Ah, so it was so good. So basically, I didn't have any chances. <laughs> I thought it was like fighting for a win. <laughs> but it was not. Well, I was plus one, <laughs> but I thought it was much better than plus one. Oh, well, I'm playing Jack, Jackie Mikael. 
Let's see. Is there a red tea opening? D4. Mm hmm. Let's see. Knight. Knight C2, I think, is best. Because. Let's say I like my knight on c2. <laughs> now let's play knight e3 with ideas of maneuvering my knight to d5. Interesting move from my opponent. I think I am well I can play Queen C2, but then he has knight d4 and queen c3 knight e2. I'm not good and bishop c3 he can take queen c3 takes and then he'll be a pawn up. So I can take bishop f3 is knight maybe stuck, but why do I need all that when I can just play when I can just take? <laughs> I'm not sure. So let's just take then bishop g2. Here, I think I'm gonna play f4. Can't play queen d4 because this, this, 97, 98. I think he's like forced to play that. Mm -hmm. Here, f5 is looking promising. I, can, I guess I can play e4 and then f5. And then his queen may not find a place where to hide, actually. So, we'll see. These. I will play king h1 just to make sure my king is not on that diagonal and he can check me with his queen. I think at some variations he could. Let's play f5 now. I will... Well, maybe I can play queen g4 actually, I'm not sure. You know what we both blundered? I have knight b6 and that's a royal fork. My knight attacks three pieces at once. And I'm um, an exchange up. Let's just trade the queens off. Now f takes g. Not exactly sure if this is the best way how to realize the advantage, but we'll see. King g1. Oof. Maybe I need b4. Yeah, he plays well and I'm struggling. Which way? Yeah. Oi, oi. That actually feels scary to play. His <laughs> knight and a lot of pawns may, 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 may create problems. Let's see, is this probably knight c5? No, okay. Rook f1. These. He blundered rook e4. Okay, he did blunder this trick and he can take my rook because of a pin and only I'm jacking Mikael. So that was pretty good. I think I was like better sure, sure if I was winning. Oh, and playing in Slazy Nose. Yeah, here I was completely winning instead of f5 and knight b6. Then I lost the advantage. So basically pretty clear game from both. And then of course rook g5 is a huge blunder. Okay, London system. Let's see if he'll play. No, he doesn't play knight 3. So I'll just develop like that. And play rook e8, e5 maybe. Okay, I'm sure about that move. That looks pretty unusual actually. Let's play b6, c5. I didn't want c5 because he would just take. Now b6 and can play or bishop b7 or c5 or a5. I'm not sure about a5, but it looks pretty promising. Let's see what he will play on bishop a6. He plays that. Then bishop b7 here. Queen g5. 
Quincy 8. Okay, here I can play bishop f3, g takes f, queen h3. That will be a pawn up, and I think I will go for it. Okay, queen f3, take another pawn. And then here he actually did not blunder. Oh, he blunders a knight. He needed to play knight f6. And then bishop e2, but after that, I am just a knight up. Huh. I'll try to play, to make a challenge to win this position without... Yeah, and Andre and Lacey knows. I had all my pawns left. <laughs> they basically move pawn one, two, three, four times to 21 moves. Weird challenge, true, but <laughs> okay. Play against Ogulian. Hello. And let's play c4. Let's try e4. I think e4, e3 are main moves. I think e3 is maybe better. But that also looks good. And be careful of bishop f7. And also queen b7 is a threat. Okay, I think queen d7 is the best move, because after queen d7, I'll probably take, play rook b8, queen a6. I'm not sure if I would be so good, but that is also an interesting move. I will take, he will play king e7, yes he will. Now I think... Well, I think queen b4 or queen, yeah, queen b4 check, he will take the 95 check in betweener. And then, no matter where he'll move his skin, I will take. And now I'm two pawns up. His skin position is super exposed. And I think I'm basically better around plus four already, maybe even plus five. Okay, that. And now I am completely winning because he blundered a knight. And by capturing double attack, I am a knight, two pawns up. And I think with completely winning position, let's see, bishop e3. Then if c6, I may do a little tactic, but I won't because he did not play c6. Okay, check. So, he'll move his skin somewhere, I'll play e5, then e6 idea, and I think I should be winning, pretty much. So, opponent is sinking, he plays this, I'll play e6. Now, I will play knight h5 check, discover attack, his queen hangs, my queen does not hang anymore. This, and I wonder him Ogulian. Good game, thanks for the game. Legends dot Daniel ninety three. Good luck. It's opening again. Let's transport it to Exchange Slav. 
bishop d3. Okay, we do trade the bishops only usually we trade on d3, but here he played bishop d6. Here I'll play knight e5. Thank you for a queen. That's a mega queen plunder. You need to take, then I would take knight here, knight d5. I would be a pawn up, but as better than I'm a queen up. Well, for me, queen up is better, of course, but for him, it would be better to be a pawn down. And what dream that a Daniel, that Daniel, 93. Asher from USA, welcome to the team. Oh, I'm actually in 14th place. That's cool. Wait, what? Reliance Tacti College. Let's see. I think it's most likely he'll play d4. You know, I did not play him. Uh, just try to guess. Ooh! Nice! I guessed it. I don't know why am I so happy. Okay, so that will be... Uh, Ragozin or names uh, Catalan? No, it's Catalan. All right. We take C takes D. Nope. Here, here. How do I play it? Wait a second. I forgot. I take then here, if I remember correctly. And then Bishop C six, Rook B eight, Queen A four, I have Bishop B five. I'm a pawn up, but I have triple pawns, so yeah, no, I'm not a pawn up. And we both have double pawns. Position is very interesting, so let's see. Queen here. Yeah, I was thinking Queen D four, but then Bishop E three, and I lose a bishop. So let's play Rook B six. If you play bishop e3, maybe I'll play knight d5 even. So it's kind of forcing him to take on d5, queen d5. And I basically have a pretty scary c4 pawn. So it looks interesting. If he'll move his bishop away, I will just take. So I think his candidate moves are e3 or bishop e3. Or maybe bishop f4. Oh, I think yes. Oh, well, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Boom! I guess the move I can do this, this here, rookie one, and then just my move. Wait, move my bishop away somewhere. But I'm greedy, and I just blundered an exchange. <laughs> yep, greediness is not always good. Know that. Okay, queen d6. Now I will probably take, I don't know, C takes B. I'm ready to play an exchange down. Well, I'm already playing an exchange down. Here, okay, B5. Though I still have some compensation. I have pretty aggressive pawns. So maybe not all is lost yet. I'm not sure, Knight D5. I think I'm kind of going all in. Play knight c3, then let's play rook d8. Let's see these. Rook d2, if rook c1, I have knight e2 check, so he needs to be careful. Oh, wait a second. Is this a blunder? Too much, maybe. But also, he may play rook d1. In g6, rook d8, king g7, oh wait, rook d6, c3, rook a6, c2, rook c6, rook e1, bishop of 1, c1, I'm winning. So let's go for it. That looks good. My c4 pawn. I'm not sure, did he blunder or did he have rook d1 as an idea? Well, he played it, so maybe he had it as an, as an idea. I'm not sure about that move, actually. Maybe it was a mouse slip, I'm not sure. Maybe it wasn't a mouse slip. I'm also not sure. So, c2 is the idea. Let's play c2. Now rook d2. Here. 
I think Bishop B7 is possible because he can take because of C1 promotion. Yep. Uh, oi, oi, oi. That's interesting. Now I can play like, I don't know, maybe Bishop B4 to make my pawn on C2 protected. So then I can freely go Rook D1 and then C1 Queen. Mm hmm. Well, I will take. Thank you. Now bishop to e4 here. Now my move cannot really... Wait, now my rook, not my move cannot really move. <laughs> yeah, now my rook cannot really move, but I think it already doesn't matter now because his rook also cannot matter from... Oh, well, technically it can move, but I just get a queen. So <laughs> thank you. The same tactic over Oh, GG. That was interesting. Yeah, I think it basically was a blunder. And uh, yeah, I think rook d6 was a plan, but then c3 and play and edge, edgeman. Good luck. So basically, queen d4 was just a blunder, need queen d6. Makes sense. Hmm. Scatalon again, only a bit different variation. This. Oh, wait, I think I may have forgotten how to play. Wait, wait, wait. that was a wrong pre move. <laughs> Sorry for scream. But yeah, it wasn't so bad pre move. <laughs> it was just pre move to nowhere. Okay, I'm not sure. I have an extra pawn right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will play knight b4 and then b5. Maybe it's a bit too aggressive. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's go b5. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Okay, knight b5? No, knight e5. Oh, I didn't see that my bishop hangs. That may be a problem. Then I'll guess I'll play queen d8. Now I will take. And maybe 5 have that. And t e4, knight d3. And my knight can be a bit annoying. Okay, bishop e7. Interesting, so, okay, we'll trade the queens. You know what the problem is? I wanted rook a8, but I cannot play it. Though, I can play c6, then you'll have rook d6, then rook here, bishop c6. Wait, that seems way too aggressive. c6, rook d6, rook c8, then advance my king, then play knight d5, and then try to win. That looks pretty good, actually. Mm-hmm. All going as planned. Or I can I can do I can put my king there or I can just play an ID5 before C3 immediately. Though I'm not sure if it will be that good. Let's go for King of 8. Now I can go for Rook A8, I guess. Ah knight a6. Wait a second, knight a6. Rook d8, knight c5, bishop six, king e7. Rook 6 takes b4. That is good. I think I will win another pawn. And then after bishop c6, I will win a bishop. After king e7, if rook c6, I think that pretty much should... Ooh, I think he just blundered. Yeah, I think rook c6, rook c6, bishop c6, b4, king e c3, this b3. Also, would not save him. Nice. I don't dream edge man. Good game. G G. Hello, Raptor. I'm here. Oh, it's only generalized. So basically, here at Bishop Six, I lost the advantage, but then Knight Five was a blunder. I need to go for Knight A Six immediately. 
button and rook d7 blunders is rook c6. I think, yeah, rook c6 takes, b4, king f2, c3 takes, b3, boom. And he can stop me from promoting and playing Dima K. Oi. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait. Start over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oi, oi, oi. Sing Dima 8 trillion, 220 billion, 61 million, 892,200. <laughs> that took me a while. Okay, let's make double fan keto system. I think I played him on the followers challenge. Yeah, three months ago, barely won. Uh, one month, maybe I barely won, maybe I did not barely win. Let's go. D takes C, then C4. Ouch. <laughs> My water jumped from bottle. <laughs> and now I have a little wet pants. Thank you, bottle. I mm -hmm. appreciate that. Let's try B4. I'm not sure if it will be super fair trade but yeah he takes i take an 4 i really didn't wanted him to play e5 well now he can play it but then this pawn will be a weakness so i'm i won't complain if he will play it now actually and once i want against him we school tactic queen say trick say this okay trade and i have seven and that's one nil Here, let's see. Nine B three doesn't look so good. So I will play A three, forcing him to go Knight A six, not Knight C six, because basically Knight six and ah, maybe I didn't really force. Well, let's not get to details. <laughs> okay, Bishop D four, Knight C six here. I think or he takes takes and Rook D eight or Rook E eight or Rook E eight now. Then I will play knight c3, maybe. Maybe I will just trade, then knight c3. And then bishop d7, knight b5, and trade too. It creates some problems. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sarkis 99 has 39 points. That will be pretty hard to catch, but I'll try my best to. Okay. B6, I think, maybe his move. No, this knight e5. Interesting. <laughs> uh, bishop b7, rook here. Bishop g2, knight c4. And then nothing super good, actually. Let's see. Can go bishop. Yeah, bishop b7 is good. And if rook e8, I will take. He is forced to take and knight c7 and if rook here I have bishop b7 and if rook b8 I have bishop d6 double attack and I win an exchange and probably I'll win the game. So I think rook e8 is the move I will probably is the move he'll probably play. Though knight c4 is also a candidate. So bishop d8 then maybe bishop b5. Oh yeah, basically he played rook e8 now knight c7. There we go. I win an exchange. And basically an exchange up. Uh, here. Takes, takes. Ah, maybe I'll just play f4. Need to be careful about back rankers, actually. I think maybe I just leave one rook in defense. And with other rook, I do what I want to. What I want to do is win. Though I can move my rook on first rank. Let's play a4. Yeah. Takes here. 
here, 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 and I want to play king g4, g4, king g7, g4, but then bishop g6 would be made by this. I want to name d mark a, a trillion, 220 billion, 61 million, 892,200. GG. Playing against Azam, 2,401. Good luck. I think he'll play c4. Then I'll play e5, and then he'll play knight c3. Nope. I want to say e4, and then I said g4. Uh, g. Oh, you see? You see? And then knight c3. You see? I knew it! <laughs> oh, you see? I'm just too good at guessing my open move. I need d6 because now e5. Okay, thanks for not playing it. Now it doesn't have e5, and I am, I think, basically just a little bit better. Or maybe I just hope to be a little bit better. That's also true. Okay, a6. Now b5. I'll give away a pawn so that some would bank a gambit from me. I don't know why I sacked a pawn. I guess the answer is just because I can and want to. But okay. <laughs> Let's not talk about it much. <laughs> Not my favorite topic of talking about. Okay, here. Then I can. Ooh, I think I found something. Rook a d8, e takes f, rook d3. That looks perfect, actually. Maybe I need rook a d8, but. It's because now queen b3, and if I will take this and both of my. Oi. Oi! Maybe I think I blundered. <laughs> I thought that I wandered a bit too late. Oopsie doopsie. Let's leave my king in the... Wait, I'm not sure. In the corner? Nah, the... Yeah, no, no, yes, no. Okay, the corner. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't... It does take with the correct rook. Uh, so basically here, 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 rook b8, he wins. So I need f6, I think. Check. Takes. Mm -hmm. Bishop e2, double attack. And bishop f3. Rook c6, I have bishop d1. If rook d2, I have queen c1. Yep. Let's see. Maybe I'm not better, but <laughs> at least I think I'm not completely lost also. <laughs> Rook b1, ah, that's possible. Whew. Ooh, yoy, yoy, he takes. I think bishop of 3 isn't good, so I will take on d1. Let's see what he will answer is. This, I will play king f7. I d5, bishop here. Rook f6, king g7, rook h6, king h6, rook f3, no. Maybe king g8, then knight e7, king g7. Here, oh, I think I lost control. But I think right now I am already better. Because two of his knight hang and one, I think. Ink will be gone. And that one will be gone. Second one will be alive, but that's not the topic. Alright, let's see. King g8, knight e7, here. He sacks his bishop, I take his rook. That looks pretty good, actually. So, king g8. I think he... He can play knight e3, but then I'll take his rook also. So, this, this, this. Checks our bishop a6 and then easily take, and I think I will easily win. So let's go for it then. I think another possibility was king g7. Here I take, rook f3, check, knight f4, g5. But then it would be pretty hard to win. Here I play king g7, mate threat, and rook hangs. If bishop h6, I can play king h6, rook f3, queen e5, 
Yeah, he just gave up and I wonder him a jump to sound one, two, and one. Good game! That was pretty odd actually. <laughs> Sarkis is going a lot 10 wins in a row. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 20 minutes left in the tournament. And playing the Gramastic Cruel Yaro. And Sazama was minus 6. Yeah, it wasn't perfect game I've ever played. Castle. So ninety five takes takes Bishop G three uh okay C one Alright A three takes takes Okay. Let's see. He takes, I will take. He can play knight b6 because of bishop 7. And basically, uh, fork. Though he has knight a4 there. Bishop d8, knight c3, b takes c. Rook d8, rook here. But okay, he plays queen c8. Rook c1. Maybe six is likely. No. Yeah, I thought it was likely, but he did not play it. Rook c7. These. Ah, yeah, true. I didn't see that I cannot take. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, let's play b3. This. Play here, and I guess main thing is to get my king into play. Then I can probably play f3. Bishop here. f4. Not really sure about f4 actually, but okay. Here, I can go a4. I can go bishop here, knight b5, a4 then. Knight a3, king c knight a3, king c3, king b2 idea. Yeah, that looks interesting. Let's try it. Here. Maybe that was a mistake. Playing f4. This way bishop cannot go back. Yeah, maybe we just bishop g3, bishop e1. Doesn't have much. Let's try this Thompson takes Maybe I can try to get my bishop out. Let's see, King D three, Bishop C five. Here, maybe King D two is a bit better. Not sure, not sure. Here. Okay. Um. Play bishop a5. Um. King of 3. Bishop e1. Hmm. And I think, can yeah, Well. Wait, maybe no. But yeah, 92 I think wins for him. No, 91. 
Complete my day one. Okay, here. I think H5, maybe. Yeah. Best for him just to have nothing. I don't know why am I looking for best move for him, but okay. Um, Bishop here. And yeah, that looks long. This game dramatic cruel yarrow. Good game. Thank you. Yeah, F4 I think was a critical mistake. Good game. Let's see. Here he was already winning. Okay, uh, it was Kind of roller, nah, not really roller coaster. <laughs> um, okay, I need rook b3 and then rook c8, h4. Mm -hmm. I see. So basically, rook b3 is a better way to win a pawn. Yeah. Then you set the 0 to. And yeah, f4 was bad, bad move. Didn't play f4 is still a chances and why am I going for Kinsindian? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, b5, okay, it's not so Kinsindian-ish. <laughs> I was already like, what am I doing? I don't know how to play it. <laughs> Here can beat. Look at that. Takes, takes. Now here. Takes like before, and then ninety three. No wait. Yes wait. Wait 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 wait. I think ninety three. He moves these these and rook eight two. But I'm not exactly sure. Let's see ninety five. Um. Now let's go ninety three. <laughs> um. Right here. Not sure. Maybe I've made a little mistake. I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, la, la, la. Uh, wait, yeah, I think I was planning to do this. In King Tape is Bishop. Yes, it does. Now this. Yes, and I definitely created him some counter play. Nice. For him, I guess. Nice for me also, because I have pretty good position. I guess I have pretty good. <laughs> Not sure, I just guess. Um, let's see. Kina fate. Rook C7. Mm, E4, knight E5. F2, knight E4. H6. Then E4. Uh, e4, d7, king e7. Think he knight may get trapped. That is what I like. So e4, but I blundered rook c8, and that's what I don't like. <laughs> oof. That's a mega oof. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> I just ruined it all. Well, oh, mouse slip. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> even if I would not mouse slip, it would not help me much. Let him have the zero twelve. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. GG. <laughs> Lol. They just have some, some great tactic. Ah, oh, just did take C there. Mm, yeah. Or 95. I felt like 95 would have been better. I played 93. And then E4 just wandered. Oh, playing against Chess Blogger. Let's see. Let's trap him. 
can't miss more. Ouch. That's what I was dreaming of. But okay. I think I did not lose from the opening. And <laughs> that makes me happy. Mm. What? Maybe I did. <laughs> Let's not think of anything bad. Da, da, da. No, I did not. I think. I just got so and I think I should be winning. <laughs> uh, maybe about winning was a bit too much, but I guess I am slightly better. Just guessing. And take it too serious. Now I will play Bishop G4. <laughs> mm -hmm. If he won't play H3, of course. And he does not. So Bishop G4. And I think I may have blundered, but I may have blundered. Let's see. Here, let's play bishop e6. And before. Oi, oops. Oi, 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 Well, I think that pawn was not something super important in this position. Okay, knight e4. Yeah, I think that he berserked gave m the fact that he berserked gave me an advantage. So I will happily take and then I will happily win an exchange. I think basically soon after that exchange I will win the game. I will win the bishop and I won't let him mate me. And then open resign one name chess blogger. Good game. So yeah, basically against Edgar Hay, I was worse than I was like plus. 4.4. I need 95. I would be completely winning, but I did not play it, and I blundered. And after I blundered, I lost. And after I lost, I lost. <laughs> yeah, the story ends up on I lost. I'm playing the Grandmaster Cruelyara again. Hello. Okay. Here. Let's play knight c3. E4, d4 then. I'm not sure about that idea, but we'll see. Will he play knight e6? No, he does not play knight e6. He plays bishop g4. I think I may play d3 because I think playing d4 would be a little bit too aggressive. This here I will play knight e2. Well, I play d3 to have idea of knight e2. Yeah, that's basically a whole idea of a whole move. An idea of whole move. Okay, let's play h3. Mm-hmm. I will take now bishop g2 and then f4. Oh, he played a 4 by his own, so I guess I won't play a 4. I will play g takes f. Let's see, this. Bishop g7. Then here maybe queen c3, knight d4. I'm not sure. Um... Turn, turn. Um, <laughs> Let's see. No, I think I will. I don't like anything. <laughs> Let's give a check. Then we'll see. Oi, oi, oi. King H6 is an interesting move. We'll play rook a e1, I think. I think. I think. I'm not sure. I think, think, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I think. I'm not sure, but I think I'm sure. But I'm not sure if I'm sure. <laughs> Let's play rook a e1. f3, I will play knight g3. Think, <laughs> but I'm not sure. 
Aqui. É meio mortinete, sei que você Pretty aggressive. Ok, he just wants to try queens. Um, hmm. I think if he wants to trick Quincy, he's scared. If he's scared, I'm better. <laughs> yeah. I think mm, it doesn't work like this. He just wants to trade Quincy to win easier. Um, Alright, I think I will accept and then I'll play that with the idea of knight e4. If he'll play f3, I have bishop f3. Here, um, okay, king h1, I think. Easy move. This bishop e four. Rook g one. Straight. Yeah, I think maybe I didn't need to trade. All rooks? Well, maybe he won't, yeah. He does not want to trade all pairs of rooks. Um, I'm not sure what I'll play. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's play this. <laughs> not sure if it was a good idea. But, yeah, I think I need to make a move. And that was the move I thought was the best. From what I had. Okay, maybe I'll play rook g8 and I'll take. <laughs> Not sure if it's likely, but hope is a hope. Here. Ah. Aha, uh -huh, nice idea. Shit. Good game, Gromaster Cruel Yara. Good game. Yeah, I think in this game I played a bit worse than I played in previous game against him. And probably it'll last fast game. Let's try. Let's try my best to win it. Yeah, I was. I had some chance in it. King H2 instead of King of 1. Knight here. Rook G8. Oh, no, uh -huh. Open, please. Playing into Baluk. Let's go. I need to fast win. Not sure if I need to play that weirdly. <laughs> if I need a fast win. But okay. Uh, this, this. Uh, Castle. A3. Queen C2. D4. Go E4. No, he doesn't go for E4. Let's play F4 then. Uh huh. Knight E3 is his idea. Let's play. I'm not sure what actually. Um. <laughs> second exchange? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Second exchange is way too early now. Well, maybe just like play. I don't know. Rook of three. <laughs> Here. Queen C1. Ah. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's exactly good, but maybe it is. Uh, rook F2. Knight here. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. That is pretty scary. Well, let's play Bishop E5. Who needs to be scared? I think me, but <laughs> I'm trying to. Sure that I'm not scared. Uh, yeah, it's my plan. <laughs> At least um, here. Wait. Wait, let's go. Thanks for a night. Hmm. Takes. And then it's six. You 
Det är så hon. Då är din baluk. Yes. Okay, so I got 24th place out of 2,584 players to type in the chat. Thank you all for the games. Games, congrats to Sarkis99, uh, Join3, and to Yurasov, uh, Matvey. Oh, GG. So first, Sarkis99. 57 points, second joint 3, 49 points, third your awesome way, 45 points, fourth Grammaster Kruliaro, 41 points, fifth Edgar Hay, 0, 12, 41 points, sixth MSKH, 44 points, seventh LYXSJ, 40 points, eighth Dreshmaster Wook, double zero, 38 points, ninth Kirill, 1, 2, 3, 5, 38 points, and tenth Sim Tan Garan, 37 points. I got 24th place out of 2,584 players, performance 2,521, games play 14, win rate 21, Bazaar Great Cost Zero and Dover Insurance rating 2,307. Let's actually check, uh, last time I played, it's a while ago. There you go, I think that was... Win five sixty eight, a bit higher performance. Every token rate in here twenty three zero seven. There twenty two hundred. Here it's much bigger. Every token rating, and I played in one game less. Ah, but okay. Pretty good result. Well, not the best result, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think against Edgar Hay, I yeah he escaped, but. Let's learn from the mistakes, and next time, let's not let him escape anymore. Yeah. Therakis was crazy! 93 win rate, 20, almost 2800 performance! Wow! Whom did he play against to get such a performance? Wait, wait, how long are you tired of clicking? Next, 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 next. Oi, oi, let's click, click, a bit left, let's go, spam click. Three, two, one, there we go, let's stop 700 of the tournament. Sarkis, okay, yeah, we got strong opponents. Doctor Exchanger, yeah, he won against. <laughs> it was a perfect tournament for Sarkis. If he would not do the last game, probably he would even get all wins. That was yeah, insane. Two, three, four. It didn't seem Tanga run. It was one nil two for him, seven nil one for me. So basically played more blunderful even though he won. So I took a pawn here, he had to go for king h1 and he couldn't take the knight. But think why? I think because bishop b2 and then my knight falls and I need to go for knight e2. Yeah, basically three pieces to pawns or a queen. But he's better. Here I had to go for d takes e and here he had to go for king h1 and here I'm completely lost. Queen e7, rook e1, I didn't see rook e8, and here basically mate and the game sim tan garan. Good game. It was d takes c, and that's all from mistakes. He actually got three mistakes somehow. I think last one was like. Missed win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guessed it. The game against Gromaster Cruel Yara, 4 for 1 for me, 0 3 nil for him. Um. Okay. So basically. Yeah, that was all good here. Rook b3, I would have win a pawn, maybe would have slightly better position than in the game. Then in the game it was all good. Here, instead of f4, I need to go for king c3. And yeah, I just basically check my own bishop. And if he ever want to trade, I would easily trade. Okay, here you have to go for a5, and you go for king c2. You go for a5. And here I have to go for king c2 again. Bishop c7 has seven some chances to hold, but not much. And here I'd go for bishop e5. Here, here I'd go for h5. I had g5 closing everything up. What's the initiative of doing that? 
I'm not sure. I think he can easily win, can't he? Actually, cannot. What's the difference? G F E takes F. And I just like more space to jump. For I'm not sure. But okay. And here, mate and looking master cruel yaro. Good game. So basically, you can see two. Then you can see two. Then you can see two. Then bishop e5. And then g5. For him, it was a5 twice, and then I think. Um, wait, let's think. I forgot, so yes, better <laughs> to remember. e5? Yeah. Insigen said Garhe 012. Here, 3 3 2 for him, 2 3 2 for me. He can play better than him, but. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? Rookie to blunder here to go for rook b1. Found a tactic. Here I had to go for rook b7. And basically a pawn up at position is fine. For bows here I had to go for knight d5. I'm a pawn up now. And basically d takes e. Knight e5, z, z, c4, or knight b4. And I should be winning that. Rook c7 mistake here to go for d6. Go for f6. Here I had to go for rook a1. Z, z. And here, mate and those game Edgar Hayes 0 12. Good game from him. And, well, pretty good from me, though I was the one who blundered. So, at the end. Well, let's say like that. That was a good game with not the best finish. Let's say so. And last game in the Chromastic Rule, the other 3 1 2 for me, 1 2 1 for him. So, basically. Bishop g2 blunder to go for rook a d1. It kind of like wasted a tempo. Here it go for d4. Because here he had f3. Knight g3. He had knight e5. He closed everything and basically he's winning. Here he had to go for rook g5. This, this. d5 mistake had to go for rook d8. And here had to go for king h2. Knight f2. I have knight to d2 creating problems to that pawn and after knight d3 rook g4 attacking his knight and i would move into the pawn and the position would be equal you have to kin upon a blunder mate and here i lost game gramasta cruel yaro good game these then wait i forgot ship f3 no let's see that is ah oh, wait i remember it's d4 yes and kin h2 and for him it was f3 then it was uh f3 uh we'll super say yes just say yes no okay knight c5 no because d4 knight d4 and i actually win i am in minus white let's back um i forgot Let's see, root g5, yeah. And uh, root d8. So, I'll finish the stream. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please join my channel, share a special cup, now my team there, and I'm 55 members. Thank you all very, very much. So, 45 members, and I will make your tournament 1,000 members. So, I'm be so very happy. And thank you for following on chess, on YouTube, and Twitch. And as usual, please hit the button and subscribe to me, and please come to the and please join on chess. And also please join Discord. If you'll join my Discord, you'll get notifications when I stream on Twitch and when we'll post video videos on YouTube. Link in the description. And yeah, bye bye, bye guys. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Have fun. See you now. Stay cool.